Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Salt and Sanctuary. I'm uh, back on this side of the screen because I was uh, previously over on the other side because of Hylix. Uh, and then I didn't fix it. Pardon me. So where am I? Right. I was going to go to... Uh, the Pyramid. Or Ziggurat, rather. I feel like I should return to some of the... Um, uh, older roguelikes I played. Granted, I don't know if this is the place for that, but, you know. So. Uh-oh. Oh, well, I found some stuff down here. Marshall Flail and a Stone Cleric. And a, uh... Uh huh. Oh, there's a ladder, yes. Secret of dust. I'm going to go ahead and throw down a stone leader, a stone guide, and a stone merchant because I feel like I want to maybe make this area a little easier on me. True Mountain Smith? Talk. Work. Oh, whoa. I can get stuff. Wait, what? Crush to restore fatigue. Apply it to your weapon and add lightning damage. Does that work the way that I think it does? Oh my god. Travel. Oh my. What? That's crazy. <laughs> Look at the visits to the Mire of Stench. Holy shit. That's awesome. If you've heard of it, I can get you there. Calling horn. Oh, go to any sanctuary with a guide in it. Let's get 10 of those. Dude, that's so awesome and useful. That's really, really cool. Wow. Like, all those items, like, just, you know, they go into your inventory. And you don't necessarily, like, think about them. Okay, I remember that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Big pop-offs. <laughs> yeah, that figures. Leitch has stolen a lot of salt. That's unfortunate. Having to jump slash them is probably what's killing me there. Uh, I guess I gotta go kill him now. This guy looks like a Joe... What's that name? 
Joe Maduera character. So it's over here. It's the other side. Okay, so this is where I came in. While jumping all the way over the top of that thing. Oh, hi. Pardon me, ma'am. I mean, I guess I'm, ass I'm assuming skeletal gender there, so. Okay. These are just out of my reach again. I feel like I'm definitely going to have to get a double jump at some point. Like, yeah, I, I don't foresee me getting out of this without getting a double jump. I mean, it's a Metroidvania. I should probably have a double jump to begin with. Get some stamina, too. Ran myself out. Okay. So I see a wall over there that needs a thing. Loud and clear. Ooh, I should buy some more torches. At least enough so I don't have to worry about like ever getting more torches again. Well, I might be able to hop to the other side. Hmm. Uh, you sell torches, yeah? No. Oh, okay. Sorry, I would have thought that uh, a torch would have, like, fire, like this thing. But I guess, like, you know, when you're buying, a, like, pocket torch. What is your deal, man? Yes! Bloodluster's ring. Hello? This one regenerates me. More frequently reduce foes to bloody chunks. It's the bloody mess perk. What it, what? Pardon me. Clay hybrid, huh? That thing's, uh, that, that's, uh, that's weird. That thing's really weird. <sighs> you fool. Uh, I see the boss. That's good, I guess. <clears throat> That's a big fella. Actually, you know what? It would be even funnier if he wasn't a boss. Like, you just go to him and he's like, Hello. I missed it again. This is getting embarrassing now. I wonder why 
what what is what is responsible for me not like landing this? Okay, so I like gotta hold on to what I've got. Okay, more liches. It's you guys, the saltless. And again, another thing that I can't jump to. So this has to be the area where I get a double jump, right? So is there no way... Hmm. Hmm. So I can do that. We've got like flying monkeys down there. Okay. What was that? I see them. <laughs> Nature will never outsmart man. Okay. Oh my god, that's so interesting. Because already a, a ziggurat or pyramid provides a pretty interesting but logical and normal way of getting around. Because like, hey, you know, it's a pyramid. It's going to be a big old triangle. But then like turning that upside down and, and doing it like this is also interesting and cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish looking around out there and see what's up. Okay, so they're not strong. They just have a lot of health. Or a lot of a lot of damage. What ha what uh Drowned Porcelain. I I didn't even see the enemy. Maybe that's on me. But because this game is so dark and grim, I uh, kind of have been starting to wonder if like that's really working against it. Just for the sake of some conveyance. Okay, cool. Oh, she very slowly stands up, but she blends in there. Oh, it's like a child. Ugh. Not very strong, but again, a lot of damage. Y 
Yeah, two heavies will kill her. Hmm. Not again! They got me, guys. They got me. That's still the worst mimic to date. Like, ever. Like, let's be clear here. I mean the coolest mimic, but... That thing is for real scary. It looks like they're wearing big old Russian hats, you know? The Ushanka. It looks like they got one of those on. These things really look like flying monkeys. Although now that I'm looking at them, it looks like they have hollow torsos, which is interesting. Hmm. Two normals will kill him, too. Spear Imp is what they're called. Okay. Whoa! There was another one. On the grassy knoll. What? Where's my souls? Or salt. Mm. I guess it said that Lich got it and not Mimic, but like, I didn't even see a Lich. Got more spiders. Yeah, I don't even... The hell, where's my stuff? And how do I get out of here? I'm, um, am I stuck? I might be stuck. Should I? No. I don't appear to be able to jump through this, and it looks pretty thick. I wouldn't really think that I would be able to jump through it at all, so. Um. Weird. I'll ring one of these, I guess. Just to do it without having to go back to the sanctuary, or without having to go back to the main menu.
That's really odd. I'm gonna have another sit. I wonder if I'm supposed to be here. And then that leads to a shortcut that I have yet to unlock. Okay. Two swinging a lot of things, and I wonder if it's because I'm actually like two swinging them, or if it's because like I just lack a tiny amount in order to kill them in one. Well, let's see about this then, huh? Can't go back that way. Okay, like, I know that it's cool that it's a ziggurat. But the fact that I have to climb up every single block individually makes me wish that it was just a pyramid. I feel like I'm supposed to be able to get in there. Again, where am I supposed to be going from here? This is, uh, this is strange. That's weird. There's no sound effects from in this corner. I feel like this game is kind of losing me. I don't know, is that fair to say? Oh right, yeah, I can't ca I can't combo with this thing. Eric's ear. Uh oh. That's so much. I literally never had the chance to get that salt. Like maybe it went upstairs to the random liches that I saw. Sorry, liches. But like, 
I don't know if I could have gotten out of the area that I was already in to begin with. Isn't it funny how so many cultures around the world looked at, like, dirt, like, looked at clay, and they were like, you know what? Yeah. I'm made out of this. Like, I feel like God or God's made man out of clay is, like, maybe the most common, like, origin story. Creation myth, sorry. Origin story. So I guess maybe above here is like and the second sneaky clay man at the start of the second round. I'm not even vexing Brad, huh? I'm not even trying to level grind. I'm just trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. Like, am I not supposed to be in this area? Hold on, sorry, I started this again. <laughs> <laughs> What are you learning about? Semen. Oh, cool. Not, not the boat ones. I figured somehow. Sorry, I clicked, I clicked the record button without realizing my wife started a sentence. Well, I mean, not without realizing. I was like, yes, okay. I'm going to continue recording now to myself. And normally that's fine. So, uh, I checked the guide I'm using and I, I'm just in the wrong place. What the hell? What the hell? Anyway, yeah, I'm just not in the correct place right now. I need to go to the... Uh the Dome of the Forgotten, I think. And I guess the best way is to probably use the stone guide. What should I call this episode? Should I call this like... Because I feel like it's a little disingenuous to call it the Pyramid of Dust because I'm not in the... Oops. I'm not in the right place. So maybe it'd be funny to call it toe dipping because I've been looking at so many different areas. Dude, come on.
There you go. Still not enough, huh? Give me one of those, thank you. More damage, why not? Okay. Done with the forgotten. That's cool. That's a really cool animation. All right. That looks like a spawn, uh, like, enemy. So, what am I doing here again? What now? Right. There's invisible enemies. And by using these files of undersight, I can see them. Good old Mega Man. Whoops. Ow. My knees. Okay, cool. So what's in here? Scorpion set. I don't even know how to pronounce half of those. Scorpion Krug. Scorpion Migfer. Oh, I guess it's supposed to be like Arabic, maybe? Hey, yep. Sometimes I kind of dislike the, uh, like, three quarters view. Look up, creature there. I see him. Merchant set. Big fella. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Ah, oh, damn. And I thought I was so slick. Well, I'm in a new area, actually, so maybe this isn't all bad. Or maybe not a new area, but one I don't recognize. New to you, you know. The good thing is that they're actually not that strong, so I don't need to spend files of undersight. Though I imagine that there's an awesome sprite made for them that I'm not seeing because of my refusal. One, two, three, four. Well... That ain't good. And a mysterious cleric. At this point, I feel like this cleric should not be mysterious to me. Like, I feel like I should know his name, his weight, his age, how many kids he has, how old they all are. Is 
this dude just interested in reviving my corpse, or does he actually want to keep me alive, you know? Hornet steel. I... I don't... I don't know any name for these besides, like, Mega Man platforms. But let it just be known that I hate Mega Man platforms. As though the, like, invisible enemies weren't enough. You know? But then you're also going to put in this. Why? I'm not really bemoaning the fact that this game has difficulty, but I mean... I think that that's a little, uh, much. The Whisper Man is what these things are called. Sounds like a cure song. You know, I bet Scott Studios are probably big fans of The Cure. The real The Cure, if you like. Whoa. Interesting. A head brand though try. It's those same blue clouds again, so I must get like a brand to make me stand on those clouds. That's my guess. Whoa, the health the, the damage is big. That's a lot of salt. Let's see if we can't get that back. The damage was larger than I thought. Morning, Sam. Morning, Ralph. That might be maybe my favorite Looney Tunes bit. Not just because it's like the funniest, but like it's so personal. For those who don't know, sometimes Wiley e. Coyote goes after sheep instead of the Roadrunner. But that's actually a separate character named Ralph Wolf who looks identical to Wiley e. Coyote. And then there's the sheepdog named Sam who is in like a rivalry with him. That means boss, right? The untouched Inquisitor. That looks like a Kingdom Hearts character. Top off. I feel like I have fought so many bosses where I'm just like constantly jump slashing, you know? I really shouldn't have run here in here with all this salt. Then again, the damage is high, but so is mine. Come on, just liquor. Nice. Now, unfortunately, I rested at the shrine and not the sanctuary, so I'm going to have to deal with that. The dome. 
Okay, can I get this off my screen now? Thank you. Oh, unless... And a crystal sphere. What is that? Uh, crush in a sanctuary to make it your... Right, I remember now. I mean, I remember because I read it, but... I remember that I'd even gotten those before. I, of course, it also said I had gotten them before, but... Uh, whatever. Where is the sanctuary? I feel like I've gone the wrong way. Oh, I can go in there now, though. Cool. Hmm. Yep, there's those clouds again. So I must get a thing to stand on them. And because somebody put a note there, I'm thinking that it must be in that area. Now that I've killed the Inquisitor. Oh, also, I first tried a boss. I can't imagine it was a particularly hard one, but... I think this leads to the Red Hall of Cages? No. That leads to that one weird interstitial area. Here we go. All right. That's 500, what are you? 800, are there any more? Big salts. No, there are not. What do the enemies here give me? Not a bad amount, honestly. Let's do that one another. Maybe one more. I want to I want to get one more level out. I feel like that's not uh, a crime. Come on. The nerve of you. I feel like for how long I've been playing, I should have like way more, like way bigger soul items or salt. Like, in Dark Souls by now, I would have, like, at least one, like, pop it to get 10k souls. Alright. Cool. Now let's steer on over to here. Um. Do I have all the... I have Class 4 Heavy Armor. I don't... I really, I shouldn't be investing unless I really want that kind of stuff. Okay, cool. I've got a lot of money, but that should be okay. I don't really need to spend that much money. Wow, um, that was a... I mean, at the end of it, it was pretty useful. Uh, but yeah, that's Salt and Sanctuary, everyone. Thank you all for coming. Uh, I had a good time. 
That was a good episode. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, what is that? Part 14 of Salt and Sanctuary? Uh, thanks for coming by to watch it. Uh, I've been Alfred. I hope you all have a good day. See ya.